zookeepers of Reddit, how are the animals acting differently now that there are no visitors to the zoo? Due to temporary staff cuts, they no longer have the people to regularly walk the wombats. Some of the wombats are holding the keepers personally responsible. Imagine having a 20 kilograms chunk of muscle with big rodent teeth mad at you. For a lot of our animals, having the ability to interact with guests is actually extremely important. Even for primates to be able to play with kids through the glass, they are missing out on a lot of enrichment. Guests keep a lot of the monkeys entertained. I watch our guests all day long show our marmosets and capuchin selfie cameras and they love to see their reflection. Guests will also show videos on their phones to animals and the monkeys totally enjoy it. We have a rescue cockatoo named Ro who sings row 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 your boat to guests. When little kids dance and sing it to her, she gets really excited and feeds off their energy. So do our other cockatoos on exhibit. But now without guests to show off for, every now and then when it's quiet we'll hear her start row row row, and then she stop and huffs a bit and gets really quiet and sad because she has no one to sing to. Some of our animals really miss having kids to show off for. You also have to remember that animals in zoos for the most part have grown up totally accustomed to being around people 24-7. They're not wild animals at all really. They've grown up in a very different social dynamic. Quite a few animals get noticeably depressed in the winter months every year when we have few guests, and then perk up in the spring when we get busy. Most of our animals are happy as long as we can keep their routines, feeding times etc. For some they need a little extra. We do public encounters with our koalas, wombats, and snakes among others so we spend an hour or so a day cuddling and handling these animals to keep them happy. A few of our koalas really fret if they don't get their cuddles. Otherwise we just try to continue to spend time with animals that are expecting human interaction and of course we can take things for walks around the place like I'm sure you've seen at other zoos. Our wombats love a run and sniff, dingoes as well. In our local zoo the apes started to miss the visitors so they brought in an artist in who's now just painting in the empty monkey house so the apes have someone to watch. I'm late to the thread, so I'm sure this will get buried, but I work for a very large, very busy Azazu. I work with the ambassador animals, so they are animals that are very used to the public. Pretty much like what everyone else has said, the animals are mostly confused that there aren't any people. Our petting zoo animals in particular are super needy. The second they see or hear us they all come running over and start crying for attention. We're trying to give all the animals as much attention as possible, but we're down to a bare bones crew, so it's not as much as we would like. What I wanted to add, though, because I think it's incredibly interesting, is that we are collecting fecal samples from some of the animals to be tested for cortisol levels, which is a pretty good indicator of stress levels. That way, when guests come back, we can take samples for comparison to see how much guests impact stress. I think it's really cool that we're taking this opportunity to see what we can learn about how guests impact the animals, and to see if there are potentially things we can do even better to improve the lives of the animals in our care. We were really hoping to do some behavioral studies too about things like activity levels, amount of the enclosure being utilized, etc. that are also important considerations for their welfare, but unfortunately we just don't have the time or staffing. My girlfriend is a zookeeper and animal behaviorist. She says their animals are becoming stressed. One of their African grey birds has been plucking his own feathers. She also mentioned that because they can't touch many of the animals due to the virus potentially spreading to another zookeeper, many of the animals are looking and acting depressive, not eating well, etc. I'm an aquarium keeper, and I've certainly noticed a change. Fish are not as stressed as they used to be, as there are no longer children stomping around and banging on glass screaming Nemo, Nemo, it's Nemo at every clownfish. We brought some of our younger penguins down to let them watch the fish, and they were intrigued but confused as to why they couldn't catch them through the glass. Our octopus has become much more friendly as well, and instead of hiding all day from people, enjoys playing with small baby toys or solving food puzzles. It's been nice.
I wish there were guidelines people had to sign to behave at zoos before entering, but at the same time, they are the lifeline we so desperately need to keep functioning. I take care of fish, but mostly jellyfish. The jellies don't give a single fuck. It's been nice for me though because I can turn most of their display lights off so less algae grows and I have to do less scrubbing. My actual fish don't care. The beluga whales were screeching at the cleaning crew the other day which was hilarious. I don't work with the whales but it seems like they enjoy, or are at least interested in, seeing others around. My wife works at the gift shop for our zoo and the other day we had to go move some stuff around in the store because due to some heavy rains, it had flooded a bit. Of course we took a lap around the empty park, other than the keepers and few maintenance workers, and found that all the animals were really active and playful. A lot of them seemed really curious about us too. I'm sure they get used to seeing crowds every day and were starving for attention. The two pygmy hippos, six bison, giant anteater, and lowland taper I took care of, I'm temporarily laid off, didn't have any change in behavior. Sulcatas are still assholes. I work on an activity farm. There is a 22-year-old Shire horse. He acts like a dick when there are customers around. With no customers, he's actually still a dick. That being said, he's still awesome. There's a bit of a balance of different behaviors that is kinda interesting. With no visitors there is more time for enrichment, to get more creative with said enrichment, trialing new things, and exposure to enrichment that has to be supervised which the animals are loving. Then there are certain animals that do seem to miss having public around, are younger, 5 years old, African penguins are really seeming to miss being able to swim at the glass and interact with people. Higher intelligence animals we have had to come up with new interactions, lots of new training going on because they are missing the variety and variability of interactions with the public. The snakes don't give a fuck though. Finally a thread I can answer. Not a whole lot of change but animals definitely missing out some enrichment of seeing guests, especially the otters that follow the kids in the glass underwater. Taquin, maned wolves, bison, gibbons, bops, lions, etc. all are about the same. Some of our animals that are skittish have been standing closer to the fence where guests usually are, zebras, gazelle, which is nice. It's kinda this weird balance of being both more and less stressed. On the one side, I don't have to worry about keeper talks or BTS tours and I have more time to get everything done and spend more time with animals. On the other side we're skeleton crude and there's less of us to care for the whole zoo so I'm working a lot more in areas I don't usually cover as often. There's one kangaroo that still tries to box me while the emu is shifting face with rolling eyes the one peacock still really doesn't like taking his medications of course man shrugging. I have noticed that the crows in the city are behaving a bit differently as well and are being a lot braver lol. Not a zookeeper but I hear the lions a lot more from my house now. Weirdly reassuring to wake up to and realize the world is still going on. The majority of our display birds could care less, however our birds that do flights outside or routinely meet guests and do more interactive behaviors with the public have definitely noticed and they are not cool with there being no guests around. Of course I can only guess, and while this is a bit anthropomorphic, I don't think they understand the change and seem somewhat hesitant to enter a new environment, to them, as we try to maintain their behavioral skills. One of the macaws who is also excited to fly is now always looking around. Pretty sure she expects for 50 to 100 people to be watching her. I've been watching the Teronga zoo cams and the seals definitely keep trying to look through the glass for people while the tigers will pace for 40 minutes straight in front of the viewing window. I'm on day 25 of working at a closed zoo. I work with great apes, and their behavior has changed a bit. They are generally very interactive with the public, so they are seeking even more attention than usual from us. Some of them were suspicious at first of the overwhelming silence outside now. They were climbing up high and scanning the area looking for everyone. Edit I forgot to mention the wild animals. We are in a much larger park, and wild animals wander in all the time, but always scatter when the crowds roll in. Now, 
there's bucks just walking around, raccoons and foxes out in the middle of the day. And the squirrels, my god, the squirrels. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow our Facebook page for more stories. Love you.